Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, this is Bruce Marshall from Simpler Trading with the nightly video update for Wednesday, March the 25th. And so much is changing so fast with this market and with the economy and with the coronavirus and, and all that. Um, it's hard to keep up with everything. But let's give it a try. We'll start here with the S&P. This is for today. If you did not see uh, the, the day today, we started out, um, you know, with a pretty good uh, rally with some optimism. Um, it quickly faded, and then we got a long extended rally up here, and then that faded. And let me show you what's going on. Let me I'll take the ticks down here, and I'll show you what uh, kind of happened. As, as we know, or you may not know, uh, yesterday was and it doesn't look like it from this but yesterday and this is the S&P this was the largest um, single day rally ever for the Dow Jones so in fact let me show you what that looks like um, here it I mean it was a huge gain for the uh, for the S&P as well but let's look at the Dow itself now off of this uh, off the low here, of course, a big gap up and then follow through here. And all of this <clears throat> was on um, the hope of the, <clears throat> excuse me, the coronavirus uh, stimulus package, relief package, whatever uh, you want to call it. And then we got more follow through overnight. And then the vote has to still go to the Senate, I believe. And um, it was getting rejected, I think, by a couple people, and then all day long we're, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna pass, gonna pass, gonna pass, and then here at the end, um, <clears throat> I believe I read Bernie Sanders says he was gonna block it, and you know we we're kind of back to where we started. So all of this is, you know, on hope of this two trillion dollar stimulus. And matter of fact, let me show you this real quick. So on the on the Dow, because that doesn't look like that much of a gain, but let's go back here to yesterday and because this is kind of crazy um, right here uh, let's see Dow Jones surges 2113 points largest point game ever um, and I talked a little bit about this 11.4 percent I was talking about this in the room I've been trading for 31 years now and um, I mean, we had many, many, many years that the, and, and in fact, the average on the year was about 12%, 12.3%, you know, until the last handful of years where we've had this, you know, the, the long extended bull market. But 12% in a year was, was good. And we went 11% in a day in the Dow. That's, that's pretty crazy. Um, so anyway, things are volatile to say the least. We know this. So let's flip back over here to the S&P and take a look and see what we've got on a uh, longer, a little bit longer term time frame. Let's go out to a one year chart here. And as you can see, and we know, you know, we've fallen off the cliff here. And I was making the analogy today that, you know, this is us standing up here on top of a, you know, a 10 story building and you throw a tennis ball off and it drops straight down and you hit the bottom and it bounces, right? And we know it bounces and then it comes back down and it bounces and it comes back down like this. And that's kind of what happens with, you will see this pattern um, over time with some of these, um, no, that's not a good one, but with uh, with some of these recoveries off the lows, they you know they'll bounce and they'll cover, and we and yeah of course we got to keep an eye on that low. We could take that low out right there pretty easy, um, and I kind of think that's what might happen. Uh, what I do not think will happen is that we will be visiting up here anytime soon. Now we have of course this is a simplistic way to look at this. Uh, it's a 20 day moving average, uh, 200 day and 50 day. You know it's I suppose it's possible we get up here with, uh, you know, it's the stimulus package is $2 trillion and that could, you know, kind of jumpstart things, I suppose, or, or lessen the, the brunt of the impact of what's going on. Uh, but, uh, but, you know, the damage has been done and every day we go continue through this, you know, the more damage is being done. 
and we saw this today Apple announced that they're going to what, postpone the 5G or whatever um, so we're going to start seeing more and more uh, on the economic front and that's not even counting on the um, the health you know the healthcare front as far as new cases and deaths and all that kind of stuff and we're likely to see spikes here and there I think Britain is probably going to be the next hot spot I, I think um, so anyway, you know, the bottom line is uh, as we are trading this, of course, this has been a, a great bounce off that low, big rally and all that kind of stuff. And we've been trying to position around that. Um, I'm looking for, you know, more upside here. Um, I don't even know. I'm just drawing dots. I don't know if we get that far. I was kind of looking for 2700 Um I, I really, you know, I really don't know. We've got a voodoo line at 2650 um, a, a, a fire line, pretty big, pretty big level up here. So nobody really knows how much will bounce based on this stimulus package and, and what all is going to be on it, uh, in, you know, included on the, uh, on the, the final bill itself. We, uh, we know there's a lot of pork being trying, trying to be crammed into this thing. Um, you know, so what's, what's the final version going to look like? We don't know. How's the market going to react to it, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, we just we just don't know. But the best guess and the most logical way to look at it is that we bounce up here. We fade the bounce for a return back down somewhere lower. Let's say let's get let's do some extremes. Let's go 3000 on the upper end and we come all the way back down here on the lower end. I don't think we get that high, but say 2650, 2700. So this this kind of gives us a a range to play in. We can pretty much kind of exclude all this up here. And at the moment, I, I want to exclude all this stuff down here on the lower, taking out those lows, because we can deal with that later. Um, at this point, that's just lotto ticket kind of stuff. And I, I talked about in the room some little cheap stuff you can buy down there for 10, 20, 30 cents that, yes, if it does fall through the floor, you can make some really big money. But that's less likely than playing in this field, you know, here that I'm talking about. So, um, we watch the news closely. I'm watching the futures every night, trying to trade the futures. Um, very erratic trading at nighttime, so be careful if you're doing that. But, um, you know, we watch the volatility. You notice the volatility has come off right here. Um, if vol uh, continues to drop, of course, you know, or, or if we keep going higher, of course, vol continue to come off. But one thing that's pretty interesting is, so the, the final number on the ES after the little pullback at the end of the day, we're still up pretty good on the day, and the VIX actually went up 2.28 um, on a rally. So not normal. None of the correlations are really working now, so just be aware of that. Um, and, you know, the other thing, and I, I'm not even getting into the stocks. We could talk about the coronavirus stocks, the ones that are going to benefit, like, uh, Zoom, um, Netflix, Domino's Pizza, you know, you can think of all the simple things off the top of your head that, you know, people are going to stay home, what they're going to do. Uh, they're going to play games, electronic arts, um, Activision, stuff like that. Um, so, you know, those have made pretty good, pretty good moves. And, um, you know, maybe we look in that area and then off some the side kind of areas as well. Um, you know, to look for things that might be of value. But right now, uh, I continue to stay light. I've got uh, Gilead, uh, which I do. I still really like. I like the stock before all this started. Um, it's been a pretty good stock for a long time. Kind of flatlined here over the last year, but it used to be a really good trading stock. But um, anyway, they are working. They're probably the front runner in the vaccine for the coronavirus. We've come right back down here into our 50-day simple um, I think this thing goes higher. This is definitely one to take a look at. It's really hard to pick, you know, the winner um, of, you know, who's going to win. There's a lot of really tiny biotechs and things like that. Uh, Gilead's been working on this way before this even started um, on immune system and uh, that that type of virus anyway. So um, I think they've got a, a far head start. But um but anyway, other than that, you know, I'm being very selective, scalping, uh, trying to be in and out quickly and being defensive, keeping powder dry. Now, when the time comes, and we'll talk about this over time, you know, it, yes, it will be the time to nibble on some long stocks to stick away in your account for a while. 
Um, I just don't think the time is now. I think there's there's too much damage to be done. We can't even evaluate things yet. We will have employment numbers tomorrow. They're going to be terrible. Um, no way to know how the market's going to react. Everybody knows they're going to be bad. So, you know, is that already discounted in or not? And, of course, no one knows. So, uh, with that, um, I'm going to wind it up. There's not much to do unless you are day trading or unless you have a... If you have a long time frame yeah i would i would not mind coming in here you know somewhere around here picking up some uh, yeah i know i'm just off the top of my head some apple some amazon you know, all the stocks you always said you know maybe some mcdonald's or whatever you said if it ever pulls back i'm going to get some you know and, well if, if, you, if your time frame is 10 years 10 15 years yes if your time frame is shorter wait i think you i think you have plenty of time to do that so um, anyway, that's what I've got for you. And as we get a little bit deeper into this in the next couple of weeks, I think it's going to be actually, I think it's going to be months and not days or weeks. But um, I will start coming up with lists of names and we'll start looking at ideas and things like that. But right now, cash is king. We sit and we watch and we're very stealth and we trade it very carefully. And um, that's what I've got. So thanks for the time. Hope this helps. Be careful. Stay safe. Wash your hands. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.